Hi. Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm going to be working out today. Did you guys know that the Starbucks logo is a mermaid busting it down? Hold up. Like, why would she need two mermaid tails? That's not a thing. How's it open? Wait a minute. Oh my God, you're so right. I'm right. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's the conspiracy theory of the day. So comment below if you agree with me. <laughs> Tastes pretty good though. <laughs> I have a workout planned and it is a push day from my workout app. So if you'd like more workouts, you can download that through my description. Link, link, link in description. We're gonna start off by doing a shoulder mobility warm up, then dumbbell front raises, dumbbell side raises, dumbbell shoulder press, lots of dumbbell work, incline dumbbell press, chest press machine, tricep extension, then overhead dumbbell extension. And that's it. So get with it. Yeah, so get with it. So let's go downstairs. Um, if you haven't noticed, I'm super nasally and it's not because I'm from Michigan. It's because I have, actually it is because I'm from Michigan. I have horrible allergies right now because the seasons are changing here. I'm doing everything in my power to feel better. I've taken two allergy pills today, drank raw local honey, did some nose spray. I have some eye drops coming in the mail and I still feel horrible. I feel like I've been cutting onions all day and crying. So this workout's about to be great. <laughs> Hopefully I feel up to it. That's all I gotta say. I'm gonna start off by opening up my rotator cuffs. I start off with my arms further apart and then I slowly move them together. Gets a little difficult. But this really stretches out my chest and my little delts. Then, oh my God. Then I stretch out my, um, my lats. Opens up those shoulders. This is what a lot of gymnastics people do before they do handstands. Okay, I'm gonna start off by doing front raises. I'm gonna do a few lighter rounds so I can just warm it up a little bit. Alternating um, four sets of 12. Okay, next up we got side raises. Um, we're gonna do four sets of 12 again. And I'm starting off with 10s, then moving on into 15 pounds. And I try to keep my shoulders back so I don't activate my traps as much, which is a little bit difficult for me, but. When I do these, I also try to keep my ribs flat and not flared. I used to just like suck in my belly and keep them flared like this. But now I try to flex my core and keep it tight throughout the whole movement. And that's just a tip and a trick. I walk into the wall. <laughs> Next up, we have shoulder presses. I've been trying to do 40s, but I've been sick for a week, so I'm not gonna do 40s today. I'm going to do 30s. I'm gonna aim for eight to 10 reps. That's what I usually do for four sets. Once somebody made fun of me for kicking up my 30s. Why? <laughs> They're like kicking up your weight on the 30s. I'm like, yeah, I'm not gonna waste my energy lifting them and doing a bicep curl <laughs> to do a shoulder press. So kick them up if you need to kick them up, folks. Oh, ooh. To this. <laughs> Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, he did not. <laughs> Next up we have incline bench, dumbbell, chest press. And my toxic trait is thinking that my arms are gonna touch this while I do it. What if my arm actually touched it and I break my arm? <laughs> you better back up. 
Oh my God, am I gonna kick these up too? Yeah, I am. <laughs> They're like kicking up your weight on the 30s. I'm like, yeah. Way too much fun. <laughs> My ear just popped. <laughs> if you do weird stuff to distract from your gross stuff, nobody notices your gross stuff. Next, we're going into the chest press machine, and I'm gonna do 12 to 15 reps for four sets. We have everybody's favorite, the tricep cable push down what extension. What the heck is this? What? Uh, this is a prime attachment. <laughs> it helps you get the right range of motion because it moves. So you're not just like statically compensating with other muscles. I do aim for 10 to 15 reps. I should probably up the weight a little bit. Then I got these little cone attachments too. I'm just a fancy girl today. You could just use the cable rope extension or the cable, the rope attachment. You could just use that. So I'm trying to go 90 degrees with the bend, not up here, because it just takes the tension off of the tricep. So if you keep it right here, it's always got tension on it throughout the entire movement. And I try to keep my wrists straight instead of like flimsy, because they could bend a little bit. You want them to be straight. Next up, we've got Overhead tricep extensions with a dumbbell. These are really good, I like these. I'm using a moderate weight. I don't wanna crush my neck with it. And while I do them, my abs look really good, so. And that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, you can like and comment and subscribe and leave me a review. I love you. <laughs> if you liked that workout, you can check out my description and I have a link to download my app and I have tons of workouts on there and nutrition guides and we have a Facebook community and we have Spotify playlists and we have literally so many things that you don't have yet so but yeah thank you so much for watching that's it hope you get jacked